Jordan brand new. So I mentioned yesterday or the other day that the Dior Jordans I'm not really a big fan of. I think they look a bit meh. Obviously, um, details have come out now that you know they've essentially got um Dior leather, real Dior jacket print on it. So that's why the price is two thousand. But then now they're going to be only producing quantities of one thousand. So I remember someone actually posted a picture of a pair that's available now in StockX, and they're asking basically twenty five grand for them, which is insane. So you know they're going to be. They're going to be the shoe of the year next year. They're going to be, um, they're going to induce a lot of L's for everybody trying to get them. And generally, they're not really a shoe that I would be that bothered about wearing myself, you know. And I'm sure there'll be a lot of kind of, you know, fronters out there that'll probably go and buy a fake pair from China just to kind of front in this in the club. But I'm not really a big fan of them. I think that's a bit of wasted collaboration. But now, Hiroshi Fujiwara, the obviously this, the Jordan One Supremo probably only, you know, only really contested in that game. Jordan One brand wise, maybe close to maybe Philopolis um, London. I think he's quite big in the Jordan One game in it, or maybe Jordan Fives or more so. But yeah, Hirsch Fujiwara is a master. Um, obviously, I've still got the fragment Jordan One somewhere around here that I'm a big fan of as well. And he has now debuted or released an upcoming Jordan One that shits all over the Dior one, I think, in my opinion. So this is the following um, Nike could finally be bringing back the Michael Jordan band airship. Uh, this is a rumor, obviously. We're not sure the details. Hiroshi just uploaded them, didn't say anything. But usually, when Hiroshi uploads an item, it's definitely going to be out for release very, very soon. I'd imagine nowadays with Instagram and social media, the Nike marketing team are very aware of um, how to kind of gain a viral foothold in the industry, leaking some images or product to someone like Hiroshi, who's very much respected in the Jordan 1 world. And having him post out there is probably a uh, concerted. Um, marketing push but the text is the following anyway and uh, nike could be bringing back the airship um sorry airship i said jordan one didn't i yeah airship which is similar to a jordan one but not actually a jordan one um the sneaker worn by michael jordan during his rookie season before the air jordan one made its official debut this rumor comes following the images shared by uh nike uh sorry by fragment design founder Hiroshi Fujiwara on instagram so I remember I had a pair of airships I sold once. I remember maybe a Crooked Tongue's um, sneaker fair thing they did in Nike Town back in the day. I'm pretty sure I had a pair of... I'm pretty sure I did. I'm pretty sure I did. A, like a black and neon colorway, kind of. Hmm. Anyway, the, the um, Hiroshi debuted two colorways, a black, a red and white pair, and also a pair that's got a white reverse on it as well. It looks beautiful. Um, they remind me of an of an all court mid again. Probably take probably in my opinion a better version than a Jordan one. I like the paneling. I like that they look a bit more chunky. They're not as a slimmer silhouette as the maybe Jordan one, and would probably suit my big chunky feet a lot more. Um, the image is shown in the high piece. This high survey article says the following: the image is shown. Um, a large Nike box with half and half design below containing two sneakers, which I'm sure would be similar to the defining moments pack we we saw maybe a few years ago from Jordan Brand, the ones where each num each basically shoe added up to twenty three, I think, or something along those kind of lines. And I remember I had the four and the thirteen, was it? One of them, I forgot which one it was. The four and the eleven. So not four and eleven, what would it be? The four and nine? I don't know, whatever my maths is. So they I remember that was kind of the package they did together and they were like three hundred dollars. So I'd imagine they'll probably do the same thing with this, where it'd be like a big massive box you'll get and they sort of fold up together and you can make it into like a little um case in your room um one is the aforementioned airship while the other one is a red and white jordan one high that comes in the og hang tag used in 1985 uh, with the jordan one um high turning 35 next year which is why we're seeing loads of jordan ones popping out edison chen's got one obviously the dior's having one um those are probably, other people probably get one too i'm surprised don c didn't get a jordan one club but considering the work him and kanye did in terms of bringing back that retro and making it you know basically famous again I'm sure Jordan Brown won't give him the, the probably the credit they deserve, but Don C did a lot for the Jordan brand, man. Especially the Air Jordan 1. I wonder if they want to give him one. Or even someone like a Nick Tache. He used to rock Jordan 1 all the time, innit? The Diamond Supply dude. Um, blah, blah. With the Jordan 1 turn 25, it looks like the swoosh could be bringing back the airship as part of the anniversary celebrations. At this point, it's an open secret that Nike Air Jordan was never really banned. Instead, it was actually the airship, the sneaker Jordan wore before the Air Jordan 1 that the NBA fined Jordan for wearing. MJ wore the airship early in his rookie season 1984. The airship did not adhere to uniform regulations due to its color scheme, caused the NBA to find Jordan every time he wore the games during the games. And there we go. 
we've got two shoes here we've got the airship pe and we've got the 1985 air jordan one on either side with the different um logos on it okay it's one box together it doesn't fold up which is pretty cool i like that one side airship one side jordan one um nike of course has never openly admitted to this being the case though the brand has acknowledged airship on this official timeline of air jordans it's already been rumored that nike will be dropping a true to the og nike air jordan chicago during the nbi also weekend in chicago next year which i'm sure uh, Duncey will probably be involved in with that one so it would make sense for other historic moments and so associated with the sneaker to make a comeback so as always stay tuned for updates yeah I like them man I'm a big fan of them I would probably get both um, you would probably have to buy both in the actual pack itself so that's not really a hard stretch but yeah I like them I like the shoe I like how clean they look and again this is what I want to see from my retros I want to see them done in a very um, luxe way, taking a lot of you know attention to detail. These are some things. These are obviously shoes that are going to be primarily aimed towards actual sneakerheads and fans of the Jordan brand, as opposed to sneaker reseller people. They're not loud. They're not crazy patterns and stuff. Of course, they're going to sell for a lot. They're probably going to go for high resale. But again, something that sneakers are going to love. Sneakers are going to appreciate. I'm a big fan of them. Love what they're doing there. Um, more power to them, and hopefully, we'll be able to get more details of those coming up very soon. 